today. You're welcome. And we will take the first question from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Jay, please go ahead. Thanks very much. And Hannah, you originally stepped in to take this fight back in April, and I imagine this is one of the rare cases where the fight being pushed back might have actually worked in your favor here because you wound up with a, a little bit more time to repa prepare, thankfully. Yeah, I mean, I had a decent length camp this time. I should have time to prepare for the fight. What did camp look like in this case? Because, you know, we're in the midst of a pandemic, there's social gathering restrictions. How did camp go down? Were you able to get the training partners you needed? Um, I did a lot more private training, like working with just my coaches, but I was able to get some, some partners in to get some work in. Doing the best I can. Situation. Obviously, Mackenzie, I mean, she's very decorated on the ground. Was that a big focus uh, for the camp? Is that some of the partners that you had come in looking at the, the ground game? Um, yes, I mean, I'm still working on other areas in my game too. Already, I have plenty of areas I need to work on a lot too, so just trying to get everything better. And last one for me, I mean, you're someone who's normally, you know, a, a pretty quiet person on media day. Is it any easier to be doing this over webcam uh, like this? Overall, it's still like a little awkward feeling just looking at the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you're, you're doing fine, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. And we will take the next question from Danny Segura with MMA Junkie. Danny, please go ahead. You're, you're getting a pretty big name here in Mackenzie Dern. Um, does this fight feel any different than, than the other bouts you, you've had, given you know uh, how, her popularity in the UFC? Um, I guess it does, and it doesn't. I mean, every fight coming up is always a lot of pressure because literally every fight coming up is like the most important fight that you've had. It's just always, always that kind of push with every fight. Yeah, and her last performance was her first uh, professional defeat. Um, it, often when things like that happen, it, it exposes a lot of fighters. Um, I'm curious to see if, if you watch that fight and any takeaways you, 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 you take into this fight. I have watched that one. I've watched that one of her other fights too. Usually people have patterns in areas that they repeat and stuff, so just seeing how she generally moves and all. Yeah. And with uh, all the COVID-19 protocols, obviously fight week is, is the volume has been turned a, a lot, you know, uh, lower given the fact that there's no fans around and less obligations. Um, you're a fighter that likes to remain sort of low key has that been nice, sort of a, a low-key, more relaxed uh, fight week? Um, yes, sir. I'm kind of looking forward to not being so busy even at the fights. All right, awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. And Hannah, that looks like those are all the questions we had for you. You are all good to go. Thank you for the time today. You're welcome. Thank you.